Hi guys, today is the 5th of December 2020, it's 21 minutes past 6 in the evening over here in the UK. I want to quickly talk about December the 18th. Last year, um, JK Bugger found some hidden imagery on the girl's dress in the Arctic Go 2 video. Uh, this girl here, we often refer to her as Alice or Eve, uh, even referenced as Snow White um, in some interpretations. Other people have looked at it like Ivanka Trump and there's been many different ones, but Alice has been one of the uh, forefront runners of how we interpret this this girl here, mainly because of the white rabbit in the background. Um, with the hidden imagery that JK Bugat found, what appears to be on the girl's dress is the letter F over here and a series of 18s on the girl's dress over here. You can also find a hidden number 18 on the clock tower outside of the um, classroom in the iTech Go 2 video. But I'm not focusing on that today because I couldn't find the um, video where that was discussed, so I'm just going to focus on this. It just so happens that uh, in this month, in this year, we have an F-18 in the form of Friday the 18th, which is coming up in about two weeks' time. Now, it's possible that the 12 characters that we have in the background, the 12 blue characters here, are representing months, and we've looked at that in lots of interpretations. If that's the case, then we can say that the 12 characters uh, represent, you know, January, February, March, April, and then we have a reference to December at the end. 12 is the month of December um, on the Gregorian calendar. Um, so if we put all that together, 12, F, and 18, we have a potential um, reference to a date of December the 18th in this year. Um, there's also 13 characters in total when you include the girl with the blue character count. Um, it just so happens that 13 days before the end of the year um, is December the 18th. Um, and then we've got the Masonic tiling. Um, in Freemasonry, uh, the black and white tiles are a reference to mosaic pavement. It's both have some connections with King Solomon's temple. Um, but just here in this third paragraph, a very quick description. It says, often in artwork with Masonic symbols in it, there is a white and black checkered floor. This is often referred to as the mosaic floor or the mosaic pavement. So with that in mind, you then have a connection to the Freemasons and the possible connection to a number of 33. Uh, other numbers connect to Freemasonry as well, but it just so happens that 33 days from uh, Friday the 18th of December leads us to January the 20th, which is when Donald Trump is supposed to leave office. Um, since I believe that the events in this video um, are to take place while Donald Trump is still in office, um, that would give us a very short time frame from now to January the 20th, unless he stays, um, and that's a subject for another video and another YouTuber. Um, but right now, I'm just thinking that it's a good idea to put a warning out on um, for, sorry, December the 18th, uh, 2020. Keep an eye out for, I'm not exactly sure which events, but the predominant event that seem to be taking place in this particular scene here, where the F and the 18 is hidden on the girl's dress, and in the clock tower scene, where the 18 is hidden on the face of the clock tower, um, it's up here somewhere. I remember JK Bogart pointed that out as well. Um, but in these two scenes, the, the common suggestion is of uh, a blackout or lights going out. As we see, as this scene continues, in the tower over here, we can see the lights go out as the tower begins to crumble. And again, in the scene with the children, we see the emergency lighting come on, coming on as the lights go out. Um, again, references to New York. We've got the Big Apple, or it's just an apple, but we can refer to it as the Big Apple. And then in terms of outside the classroom, obviously that reminds us of the Twin Towers. In both scenes, we appear to have um, like uh, a wave of some kind this cliff-like iceberg rocky structure here um, actually a tsunami wave coming forward um, with a, a shark in the middle you can see the eye just there the open mouth um, this appears to represent a submarine in this video the way you see sharks like uh, on the chalkboard here for example um, we believe that represents a submarine that can also be found slightly more hidden uh, just here you can see just this faint line, if I make it a bit bigger, it might be a bit easier. For some, you can see here, the faint line that comes around and straight back down. 
it also joins up with a, a, a numerical sequence of what looks like X and 1, 1, 1, 1, and 5. And obviously, I've already put a video out a couple of hours ago about December 15th. Keep an eye out there. But that shape there is coming out of this wave. And when you flip the scene upside down, um, it's the what looks like a submarine or a missile. Um, when I've done a clearer image of it, and some of you may remember, there's a number 2, which I can still see. Just here, it's upside down, number two. The mouse won't move smoothly with me. Number two, going around like that. Very small, just on the front of it there. That line going across kind of gives you like the head of the missile of the submarine. Either way, we have that same New York wave submarine or missile or something coming out of the wave um, repeated over and over again throughout this video. So, I don't know if anything's going to occur on December the 11th or December the 15th or December the 21st or the 25th or the 27th or the 18th or the 31st um, but all of these dates they are in my mind and I'll keep an eye out as they go by even closer dates like tomorrow for example um, December the 7th is simply taken from this scene here where we've got an L one way which could be representation of the number 12 and then a 7 the other way 12 7 perhaps December the 7th um, and then if you really really want to carry on um, in the same scene you can also get December the 8th from the one seed here the two seeds on the other side that's 12 and then you've got the 8 forming in the middle with the roots of the seed and the shadow of the seed um, so again you've got the possible reference to uh, 12 8 so 12 7 12 8 maybe something happens then um, I don't know we'll just have to you know keep our eyes out um, and, and you know have a look and see what happens and hopefully nothing happens but you know the suggestion is we should be alert and aware and ready and prepared just in case anything does so with that very short video just wanted to point out those things keep an eye out on December the 18th 13 days before the end of the year 33 days before Donald Trump has to leave um, office. Um, one thing before I go actually, also coming up at the end of the year um, is the the Brexit um, transition comes to an end and we officially leave the EU and you know we start our own thing. Um, and that could be what's going on down here with the pound coin, some of it removed, covered over by Obama's book. Um, so you could be looking at a reference to the end of the year Obviously, the Apple, the bull dropping, New York, that also has New Year references as well. So perhaps we have a time frame. And if it is going to occur in this period where Donald Trump's still in office and he is going to leave on January the 20th, that only leaves us with 46 days of watch and interpretation. Um, and out of those 46 days, I already have a watch on, as I said, December the 7th, December the 8th. Uh, December the 11th, December the 15th, the 18th, the 21st, the 23rd, the 25th, the 27th, and the 31st. And then we're going to January, where I've got January the 2nd, um, and I'll make another video to discuss the rest if, uh, you know, nothing has happened. Before then, you guys, as always, have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening. And may the Heavenly Father bless you.